Now, as efforts, as part of efforts to cushion the effects of fuel subsidy removal, Governor Hobo Zadima has increased the minimum wage of workers in the state to 40,000 naira, with consequential salary adjustments of other levels. Speaking in Oweri during stakeholders' meeting, Governor Zadima says the wage increment is to ensure that sufferings of workers in the state is highly reduced. Other issues the governor highlighted include procurement of more buses for workers to strengthen the free transport system in order to cover more routes while a meal will that will guarantee one free meal every day for workers has been introduced i feel your pain this is why i have come up with a number of broad policy initiatives that i'm unfolding here now to cushion the pains it is therefore my pleasure to unfold the following palliatives for human workers and the non-workers and all our people in Imo State generally. This policy, after being read here this afternoon, will become a government document and the most immediate implementation must start. There shall be an immediate upward review of salaries and wages of workers in the state. The minimum wage is hereby raised to 40,000 naira, with the discretionary consequential adjustments of other levels. Your salaries will be able not only to take you home, but also provide your basic necessities to enable you to make ends meet. Residents in Benin City, the adult state capital, have reacted to the Senate's approval of President Bola Tinubu's request for $800 million borrowing from the World Bank. The president, in a letter to the Senate, revealed the decision of the federal government to transfer the sum of 8,000 naira monthly to 12 million poor and low-income households for six months. The move has generated mixed reactions in Edo State, as some persons are of the opinion that Nigerians must be patient while others differ. You want to remove one of the best first ways, or you have a tumor, or you, the first thing you have to do, you go under the knife. It's always a painful process. If you say you don't want to remove the tumor, you have to, if you don't want to go through the pain to get the gain, you then you have to live with the tumor. So what Ashwaji is doing is like a, you know, a, a, a physician, a, a surgeon, is actually trying to op, uh, operate on every sector of Nigeria. First thing, subsidy removal. We all know that there's corruption with that subsidy regime for years, and no presidents have been bold enough to actually remove it. Even while some will say, oh, we are removing it next month. Before you know it, you hear that we are still paying subsidy and all that. Before the issue of subsidy removal, maybe a little bit. But now, the man have created more problem with this subsidy, although they claim it's a bold move. I don't know how bold this bold move is. 8,000 cannot get anybody to anywhere, no matter the level of how poor you are in the, in the family. Definitely, 8,000 cannot go. Look at the transport school. Let's look at, you said the poorest of the poorest. Maybe the poorest of the poorest, maybe in the town, they are in the Even in the town, how many of them can 8,000 do for in a month? Where can it take them to? Those in the village is even worse. It's even worse. Those in the town can see have where to go can trek. In the village, for you to move your produce from one village to the other, it's a problem. It's a problem. So when you pay the man eight thousand dollars to do what? Not to food and go and the first on your inauguration day, you told us you are removing the petroleum subsidy that is going to save money for the people. Now you are not writing. Just Few weeks down the line, after you increase fuel from 220 naira to 520 naira, the profit you made from the, uh, uh, the, the removal of uh, petroleum subsidy, what happened to it? Where is the money? Now you want to be giving money to the poor people, 80,000 naira. Do you know the cost of feeding as we, talk, as we speak today? Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.